this video, we are going to create this beginner JavaScript project, which is a height converter. We are going to convert the height from feet and inches to centimeters. It's pretty straightforward. I will walk you through every line of code. So let's get into it. In my project folder, I have this HTML file, a CSS file, and a empty JavaScript file. Inside the HTML, I link the style sheet and link the JavaScript file as well. And I also reset the margin and padding, set a font family, and set the box sizing to border box. And also open this file on the browser using Open with Live Server. So we are going to start by creating a form. We can delete the action. We are just going to give it a ID, calculator, and at the top, we will have this h1 with the text height converter and under this h1 we are going to have three divs that we are going to put some labels and inputs inside i will call this one row let's copy and paste it two more times the first one is going to have the label for the feet say feet and right under this i'm going to create this input we can delete the type and ID is going to be feet. The second one is going to be for the inches. Same with the other one, create a input, delete the type, ID is going to be inches. And the final one is just going to have this button, convert to centimeters. And right under this, we are going to have this one final div with the ID of results. And this is going to be empty because we are going to be displaying the result inside this div. And this is it with the HTML. Now we are going to style it. And finally, we are going to create the functionality. First, I will select the body. And by setting the minimum height to 100 VH, I will make it cover the entire page. I will center the form by making this body a flex container and using align item center and justify content center. And I'm going to copy and paste this background color. If you want to use the same background color, just pause the video and type down the same. Next, I will select the form, make it a flex container as well. Change the flex direction to column to bring everything on top of each other. Align item center and justify content center to center everything. Let's increase the font size to 1.2. Set the background color to white. And let's put some gap between those elements. I will add some padding. 4EM to 2EM. So 4EM of padding at the top and the bottom. And 2EM on the sides. And let's add some border radius. And create some box shadow as well. So 5 pixel to the right and 5 pixel to the down. And this is the spread. Next, I will select the H1 and increase the font size. And let's select those rows. Now I want this text to be on top of this input. And I want it to be on the left. So I will make this row a flex container change the flex direction. The text is already on the left, but let's make sure by using text align left. I will select the inputs, increase the font size and make it bigger using some padding and add some little border radius as well. Let's style the button, make it bigger using padding, increase the font size Let's copy and paste the same border radius, increase the font weight and change the background color, change the text color to white and I will delete that border. Cursor is going to be pointer when you hover over it and transition for the hover effect. And when you hover over it, I will make it just a little bit bigger using transform scale. And the final thing to do is to style the results div. Even though it's empty right now, 
once we start to display the results we don't want the text to be small so i will increase this to 2 em and increase the font weight as well and that is it with this styling now we can create the functionality first i will create a variable named form and i will put the form inside this variable i will use the query selector method and put the form inside of this variable next we are going to add a event listener to this form so this function basically listens for an event and in this case it is going to be submit because we have a form and when you click on this button you basically submit some information and when the event happens we need to execute a function and the second argument is going to be that function it is going to take an argument and it is going to be the event itself next we will get the inputs from this form I will create two variables feet input and inches input I will use query selector again now because these variables have IDs don't forget to put a hash in front of it and let's get that empty result div as well and because we are going to handle the logic of this form by using javascript we need to use this function called prevent default to basically prevent the default function of this form because we are not going to be submitting this form to a server we are going to handle the logic using javascript and I forgot to put a hash in front of it so the next thing to do is to convert the inputs that we take to integers so even though the inputs are numbers when you use query selector they turn into strings so I will create two more variables feet and inches and there is a javascript function called parse int and this is going to turn these strings into numbers let's copy and paste the same thing to inches as well and now we have the numbers as integers so we are going to create the calculation part by using some if statements so the first thing that we are going to check is if the feet or inches are actually numbers and there is a function for that in javascript which is called is nan nan stands for not a number and if i put feet inside of it it is going to check if this feet has a integer inside and we are also going to check the inches as well so if any of these variables doesn't have a number inside we are going to show this text inside results please enter a valid number and i will create another if statement as if if the feet is below zero we will show this text please enter a feet value bigger than zero and another else if case for the inches if the inches below zero or it is equal to or bigger than 12 we are going to show this text please enter an inch value between 0 and 12 and one final statement is going to be else and this is the part that we are going to handle the calculation if nothing goes wrong so to turn the feet and inches to centimeters first thing that we need to do is to turn the feet to inches to get the total number of inches so i will create a variable named total inches and to convert the feet to inches you need to multiply it by 12 and i will add the remaining inches to it and now we have the total number of inches 
let's turn it into centimeters by multiplying it by 2.54 and this calculation is going to turn the feet and inches to centimeters let's show it inside results I will use backticks use the dollar sign and curly braces I will put the centimeters variable inside let's also say centimeters and also we don't want this number to be too long after the decimal point so I will set a fixed value to it using to fixed and by doing this, we are going to have only two numbers after the decimal point. If I hover over it, you can see it. Number of digits after the decimal point. And also, we need to reset the feet input. Let's assign it to empty strings. Inches as well. And that should do it. Let's check if everything is working fine. And there you go. It works fine. After the decimal point, we only have two numbers. The number is not too long. And calculation logic works fine. And this is how we can create this beginner project using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. And I will see you next time.